Hello, my name is Ron Hester, and I'm here to introduce my new book entitled Inside My Mind. It's a book of poetry, short stories, and opinions. But it's a book of poetry that covers all walks of life. It's entertaining, it's inspirational. In fact, everyone that has gotten the book and read it, I've never gotten one negative feedback back about it. In fact, the number one comment about the book is, it's deep. So it's Inside My Mind by Ron Hester. And right now, I would like to read you one of the entries from the book. This one is entitled, If MLK Was Alive Today. If MLK was alive today, what do you think he would have to say? Well, this is what I think he would have to say. I look at our young men today, wearing the pants hanging below the, showing the world that they have no class. I know that the road was long and some of us will not carry on. But a lot of us will not stop until we reach home. I look at us today, and all that I can do is shake my head and pray. I did not march through the streets of Mississippi so that we can be tossed crumbs and be totally satisfied. I did not march through the streets of Tennessee so that we could put drugs and style in front of advancement in education. I did not march through the streets of Georgia so that we can go get a baby instead of a degree. I did not march through the streets of Alabama so that the underprivileged can stand in the mirror and see nothing. I did not march the streets of Washington, D.C. so that the underprivileged can stand aside and watch the politicians play money, money, who has the money. I did not march down these streets so that young America would think that ignorance is cool and education is a bore. But I come here today to tell you that nobody is going to give you anything. You have to get up off your butts and earn it. And when you earn it, when you earn it, you don't have to ask for a bigger piece of the American pie. You demand it. And it's not that we're not moving forward, we are. But we're moving forward at a pace that is much too slow. We knew the road would be long and hard when we started. And we honor those who have marched and are now departed. So I leave these words with you today. And hopefully they will help you along the way. If you're constantly looking down at rain falling into a cup, how can you ever appreciate the beauty of the sky if you never look up? And that's what I think MLK would have to say today. I would like to read you another entry from the book. This one is one of the short stories that I do. The short stories are really short. They're usually a page and a half, two pages and a half long. So they're short stories, but they're very inspiring. This one is entitled, See No Evil. It started out like any other day. I didn't know that by the end of the day, I would have such an eye-opener. I worked in a long-term health care home. I would come in every morning and get my assignment and start work. When we got our assignment, we would look to see who had Mr. Blue. 
Mr. Blue was a resident who everybody thought was confused and a little bit off. Because he would have these long conversations around breakfast and dinner time. As though someone was there with him. When asked about his company, he said that his wife would come and have breakfast and dinner with him, but not lunch because she would be at work. Of course, we knew that his wife was dead and had been for quite some time. We had tried everything in convincing him of this fact, but has gotten nowhere with it. So today, I had him. But I went about my normal work day, and at the time that I would venture in and out of his room, depending upon what time that was, he would or would not be having these conversations. So I said, today, I'm going to ask him about those conversations that he is having, in which it is very clear that no one is there. So I asked him, Mr. Blue, why is it that when we come in into your room, you are having a conversation as though someone else was here with you? He looked at me. He looked me straight in my eyes and said, Young man, when I'm having my breakfast and dinner and conversations, I am sitting and talking with my wife. She tells me about her day, and I tell her about mine. I interrupted almost immediately and said, But Mr. Blue, your wife has been dead for years, and when we come in here, there's no one here with you. He looked at me again and said, Dead to you, but not to me. She will always be alive. I couldn't wait to hit him with a dose of reality. So I said, Mr. Blue, I'm sorry, but I don't see anyone. He looked at me and said, Son, you can't see God either. But he's sitting right over there. My mouth dropped open and I politely left the room. How could I dispute that? The title of the book is Inside My Mind by Ron Hester. And you can get it by going through Amazon.com or you can get it by going through Barnes & Noble Bookstore. They can order it for you. Inside My Mind by Ron Hester. It's very entertaining reading. Thank you. Thank you.